Hello, this is Simon. I'm showing you Maya 0.42, which is our build release today. Uh, a lot of things have changed recently, so I wanted to do a video, get everyone updated. You can now start the game without the tutorial, which is something a lot of people asked for. Uh, no debug commands required. So here's our usual base layout. We're going to start building, build a workshop so we can start building things. And then uh, just start showing off some of the new features. So build a door build some lights, workshop table, atmosphere generators, you know, drills and stuff. Um, hold control if you want to get the uh, kind of OCD layout mode. And you can also click and drag if you want to rotate things and uh, hold control when you're dragging to uh, get things on 90 degree angles. So this is a, a cat um, that's Mr. one of our backer cats and uh, Blackie who's one of our, our Kickstarter backer dogs. So now we've got basic building facilities, we need to start getting materials. So we'll, we'll dig out an area and then our imp can collect those minerals up and our colonists can use them to build stuff. The colonists now have uh, inventories so they can carry stuff and pick stuff up and carry around. So we'll build our wind turbines, um, that will get our power generation. And we also need to build some beds, oh yeah and, and toilets, uh, you can build toilets now, lots of weird people requested them. So people can die fatigue. They can die for starvation. All these things are now in, so you need to be careful about your food, about overworking people, making sure you've got enough atmosphere. So here we've got one of our guys going outside to build the wind turbine, uh, the rest of them doing other stuff. And you can see we also have a new button by the cycling button, which is cycling dangers. And here's one of our dangers. He's got his face stuck in a hedge, um, but he is dangerous nonetheless. Um, it's one of our megafauna. And uh, large omnivorous creatures that will um, really, really mess up your base if you if you annoy them. But otherwise, they're social and they they will just walk around the map, mostly eating trees, sleeping. They've got an AI similar to your to your colonists, so they're actually meeting their own needs, um, d doing the things that they need to survive. They will attack your base if if, if provoked. It's good to maybe have some turrets set up. Um, so you don't lose a colonist to an attack or, or maybe your wind turbines get taken out. So one of the other things that's gone into the game recently is clicking has become oh, earthquake. Clicking's become much more refined, so you can click on ob doors, lock them. Um, other objects like the water barrel, if you uh, click them they, they let out a tone. But that tone's based on the amount of water in them, so you can uh, create yourself a little little percussion set. And kind of play our little tune. If someone can play the future armor tune, I'll, uh, I'll send them a prize. So we need to build the uh, communications tower. New in 0.42 is uh, simulated microwave communications, which uh, actual kind of real, um, not point to point, but uh, kind of broadcast style microwave transmission. So we've hadn't, not had any emails yet from them. I'll just check the emails. So they've got no complaints by the look of it. Um, there are a lot more new procedural emails they'll send you. They'll send you haikus. They'll send you weird poetry. Lots of other cool kind of stuff that we've been working on behind the scenes. So now we've got this communications tower. We're going to have to wait for them to build it. Um, but we can get by that by the magic of editing. So we had a bit of a run-in with uh, one of the uh, new creatures. It's a kind of bit of emergent behaviour as it comes over and, and just checks out your base. As you can see, the weather station's uh, placement is, is now based on a whole bunch of different variables. You notice that as, as you move away from the transmitter, you lose um, kind of signal strength. And that, that falls off in an inverse square root, like, like the real thing in real life. Um, but also, as, as you move away, you also get better placement because obviously um, m moving items further away from each other gives you more useful data. Two weather stations are on top of each other or two seismic stations give you exactly the same data, which would be useless. That data can feed back to your research room and aid your research. It also allows you to get um, basic kind of forecasts of when the next earthquake might be or when the next weather system might move in which will help you decide about what how you want to build your base if you want lots of solar panels or, or a wind farm or when you focus on nuclear or you know 
whether you need to spend lots of time repairing stuff because there's going to be an earthquake. So we've got the kind of base kind of going. But you know, it, it kind of gets a bit slow. Um, so you want more colonists. Well, now you have microwave communications. You can call them from orbit. So here's a, a landed capsule. And uh, we have a new colonist that's going to crawl his way out and he'll come join the base. And you'll be able to keep requesting new colonists as you need them. There's no set variable for when you get a new new colonist. You need microwave communications. It, it's based on how successful your base is, whether the uh, AI system decides that you really need a new person. So yeah, we ne need to kind of get some food growing in the base because we're going to run out of rations soon. Place some hydroponic trees as they're basically free. Um, we can save some power by turning off this light. Um, you can turn off lots of things by clicking them, even the atmosphere generators now, so that will that will spin down and start re releasing less and less air and eventually completely cool off. So yeah, this is uh, 0.42. It's also, as you may have noticed, very stable. The performance is really, really good now. I'm getting a solid 60 frames a second on this machine. On a, on a crap top, I'm getting 30 frames a second. I'm going to keep playing now. I'm going to put in some radiation containment and place some supercapacitors to store some electricity and uh, I think I'll end the video here. So thanks for watching, thanks for supporting us, we've got over 40,000 users now, um, hey everyone, and uh, yeah we'll catch you soon. Bye!